This week in 3D Archery, man, do I have a bear of a target rebuild. Hey everybody, welcome to 3D Archery, Greg here. Alright, the club I belong to, they bought this Delta McKenzie target years and years ago. It's about a thousand bucks today. It's a great target. In fact, it's one of my favorite targets. I just love shooting it. You know, the stump and all that, it's just not your normal bear just standing there doing silly stuff. Um, the club I belong to took the extra step a couple years ago to make this setup. Now that is awesome. I actually gave it one of my best shot awards. I love this setup. Well, time has taken its toll. The rear legs got so weak, and as you can see in this photo, they had to put a strap on it to stop it from collapsing. And over time, UV radiation, snow, weather, all that good stuff, hot weather, cold weather, all blah, 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 is taking its toll, taking off the outer coating and exposed it. And I looked at it, you know, I wanted to try to save it. This is my biggest one I've done yet. So I asked them, and they said, go for it. So I pulled it all in, brought it in, and I'm refinishing it. And it's going to be a different video. Just going to briefly go over, show you how I did it. I'm going to take it out and shoot it. You know what? This is a fun one. I liked it. And I enjoyed it. And another club that I know, they have another one that I might try to do too. So it might be two beers for the price of one. So first up, worked on the head. You know, with all the original coating removed from it, the foam was exposed. So what I decided to do is try to smooth it out as best I can so the paint could adhere better. And the paint that I chose was bare acrylic exterior grade paint. And one of them was a light tan and the other was, believe it or not, called bare brown. So we got some symmetry going on here with that. Now when painting it, I put on heavy coats trying to seal up the many holes from the exposed foam. And I used some pictures from the internet of real grizzlies. And I found out the grizzly bears are really two-toned and not one color like the 3D Target. Um, what they have is they have a lighter color up on the back and sides and a dark brown. Very dark brown down low and around the eyes. And of course, I painted the nose black. Then next up, I wanted to replace the teeth. All the teeth were gone. And I painted the mouth red. And what I used was some Gorilla Glue construction adhesive to make the teeth. You know, remember, they're going to see this from no closer than 10 yards away. So you don't have to have perfect teeth. I did go online. I looked up. And I've seen about buying some um, plastic teeth and things like that. But the Gorilla Glue was the cost-effective and more effective method. And for the canines, I tried the Gorilla Glue, but it, it just didn't come out right. So what I did is I used some Crayola Model Magic, shaped them out by hand, let them dry for a few days, and then I glued them right into place. And you know what? You can't tell the difference. They came out great. Up next is the body. What I did is, this target's only going to be shot from one side, so I didn't have to repair both sides. I looked at it, and I started carving out all the damaged areas where it had heavy damage. And while doing that, I was cutting, and black ants started coming out. This target was infested with black ants. Once I had it cut out, I used a rasp to smooth it out. And what I found with that ant infestation is they made channels and tunnels all around this thing. And I started chasing them, and you know, this could go on forever. So what I decided to do was use some great stuff to fill in the larger holes and channels in the target. And then once I got that done, I sanded it down with great stuff. 
So with it all done, I went to prep it for the new foam. What I did is I placed four mil plastic over the hole, secured the edges with staples, and cut a hole in the center. The foam that I'm using is a foam that I like, and that is from Smooth On called Flex Foam It 17. Um, normally it's white, but what you can do is you can buy some UVO paint, put it in there, mix it up, and you can turn that white foam to whatever color you want. So instead of having a white target, so if they scrape the paint off, they'll see the white, I turned the, the foam into a brown, so it'll blend in a little bit better. So not being level, I had this little gap to fill. What I did is I used it with great stuff. And then I used my belt sander to smooth it off. And while doing it, I ran into an air pocket. And I tried to cut the air pocket out, I tried to sand it out, and it didn't work. So what I did is I decided to use some great stuff to fill the void. And then from there, I just cut, sanded to the shape that I wanted. I found this PVC cap that looked perfect for the size of the 10 ring. Placed it on there, used a Sharpie on it, and it came out great. The next, I knew I had to draw out the 8, and I had to look for something, and I found a lid that was perfect for the X ring. With my target rings drawn on there, it was time to cut them. And what I used, I used a heat knife to cut out the scoring rings. And I'll say it goes right through the great stuff. But man, was it slow work cutting through the foam flex. There's got to be a better way, and I'm going to have to look on it because this ate up a lot of time. With the scoring done, it's time to paint the body base coat, the dark brown. Again, I used heavy coats, trying to seal in the foam and protect it as much as possible. Later on, when I'm working on the body, I attach the head, and I started to apply the lighter coat of paint, trying to make it all lined up. Just working it and working it. With the target all painted up, we're in the final stages. Next up is securing the legs. On this target, it has these plastic inserts with two little knobs on them. You put it in, you rotate it, and it locks it in place. Well, over time, those knobs and the plastic wears out, and the legs can no longer stay in there due to the weight of the bear, and the bear collapses backwards off of it. So to alleviate that, I use the Gorilla Glue construction adhesive. Let me tell you, this stuff works great. It's strong, flexible, and durable. And these legs are going to be held in place. With the animal all done, it was time to take it out, set it up, and take a couple shots at it. All right, everybody, I'm out here. <laughs> We're in the middle of that cold spell. It's 20 something degrees out, a little windy, balmy, nasty, snow. Uh, build went well. Learned a couple things. Biggest thing I learned is when I poured the foam, I didn't have it exactly level, so the foam all <laughs> gravitated to one side. Something I gotta remember next time. Uh, this baby should be able to withstand the outdoors. I got at least two to three coats of outdoor acrylic paint on it, so that should be good. And then I put a coating of Thompson's water seal on it. Uh, 
Everything went well. The teeth looked cool. One of the teeth popped out. I had to glue it back on. It's not put in there for you to be knocking it around. I knocked it around when I moved it. And no pun intended, but that was a bear to put out here today by myself. All right. So, there it is. I think it looks pretty good. The things that I really like is with the light colors, the bullseye and the ten ring just jump out at you. You know, and that's going to be good for the archers to get the, uh, the feel of it. You can pretty much see the eight ring except for the very top of it, but you can figure it out. Um, it should hold up. They're having a problem with the back legs popping out. I put some construction adhesive in there. I'm going to shoot this. This is my indoor bow. I got 200 grain points in this baby. It's a 576 grain arrow on a 38 pound bow. It's made for indoors. My point on is 20. I'm past 20, so I'm going to struggle here, but that's all right. Let's see how this baby works, huh? Not bad. I mean, a little high. Try it again. Hear that nice solid hit? So it's got some good, good solid foam in the center of it. There we go. That's the way to end the day. All right. Good build. Like I said, I think this is going to last a good period of time outdoors. It's nice and solid again. I think it looks better than what it did before. Hopefully the archers will appreciate it. I'm telling you, boys and girls, if you own your own club, repair your own targets. This is, um, I think it was a hundred bucks, maybe 120 altogether. Not bad. Now they got a nice new looking target. At least come in, bring your targets into the winter, repaint them, make them look a little more realistic. All right. One more down. Can't wait for this white stuff to melt and the good weather to come. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time with an all new episode. 3D Archery.